Welcome to Merging Data Frames with Pandas. My name is David Adolaya. I'm an applied mathematician and data scientist. This course is all about merging and combining data frames for your data science needs. Your data really exists as data frames from the outset. You generally have to deal with text files, spreadsheets, and databases. Let's first check out how to read multiple files into a collection of data frames. The primary tool we've used for data import is read CSV. This function accepts the file path of a comma-separated values file as input and returns a pandas data frame directly. Read CSV has about 50 optional calling parameters permitting very fine-tuned data import. Pandas has other convenient tools with similar default calling syntax that import various data formats like Excel, HTML, or JSON into data frames. To read multiple files using pandas, we generally need separate data frames. For example, here we call pd.readcsv twice to read two CSV files, sales January 2015.csv and sales February 2015.csv, into two distinct data frames. It's generally more efficient to iterate over a collection of file names. With that goal, we can create a list file names with the two file paths from before. We then initialize an empty list called data frames and iterate through the list file names. Within each iteration, we invoke read CSV to read a data frame from a file and we append the resulting data frame to the list data frames. We can also do the preceding computation with a list comprehension. Comprehensions are a convenient Python construction for exactly this kind of loop where an empty list is appended to within each iteration. You can check out DataCamp's Python programming courses for more details on comprehensions. When many file names have a similar pattern, the glob module from the Python standard library is very useful. Here, we start by importing the function glob from the built-in glob module. We use the pattern sales asterisk dot CSV to match any strings that start with the prefix sales and end with the suffix dot CSV. The asterisk is a wildcard that matches zero or more standard characters. The function glob uses the wildcard pattern to create an iterable object file names containing all matching file names in the current directory. Finally, the iterable file names is consumed in a list comprehension that makes a list called data frames containing the relevant data structures. Now it's your turn to practice reading multiple files into data frames in the exercises.